In this lesson, I'll show you how to set up and solve differential equation problems. The question reads, a tank contains 10 liters of water with 4 grams per liter of dissolved salt. Water containing 2 grams per liter of salt enters the tank at a rate of 7 liters per minute. The solution is kept thoroughly mixed and drains from the tank at the same rate. How much salt is in the tank after t minutes? So they're asking for a general equation. And how much is there after 5 minutes? So what we have is a situation where a tank is being filled, let's say by a faucet, I'll do my best to draw that, is being filled by salt water, and at the same time there is a, another faucet, let's say over here, that is releasing that water. And the tank consists of 10 liters. So we have water coming in at a particular rate and water coming out. What we first have to do is let A of t be the amount of salt measured in grams. So the rate at which the amount is changing per unit time can be represented as dA over dt. This is the rate of change of A with respect to t, where A represents the amount of salt. And we have a flow that's coming in, and it's coming in at 2 grams per liter. Now I'll apply the units just for reference sake. And if we multiply this by 7, liters per minute, we'll actually get the amount of grams per minute, the amount of grams of salt water per minute. So this is what's coming in. This is that rate right there. And what we have to do here is subtract what's coming in with what's coming out. And what's coming out is stated right here, where it mentions drains from the tank at the same rate. So it's also draining at 7 liters per minute. And we have to multiply this by the amount in grams, which we don't particularly know, per every 10 liters, and that's the tank's volume. And by doing that, the liters units cancel out, and we have the amount of grams per minute leaving this tank. So what I'm going to do here is clean this equation up a little bit, where I have dA over dt is equal to 2 times 7 is 14, I won't include the units anymore, minus 7a over 10. And I'll try to get the general solution for this differential equation. But what I have to do is make sure that the a terms are on one side and the t terms are on the other side. The way I can do that is I can multiply the right side by 10. And by doing that, this 10 goes away and this becomes 140. And on the left side, I have 10 dA over dt is equal to 140 minus 7a. The reason why I did that is because I wanted to clear the denominators. That makes it easier for me to do what I have to do. Next, what I'll do is reciprocate both sides. Now, pretend that this expression has a 1 underneath. If I reciprocate both sides, I end up with dt at the top, 10 times dA at the bottom, and that's equal to 1 over 140 minus 7a. The reason why I did this is because now I can multiply both sides by 10dA. That will get rid of the 10dA on the left side and it will appear on the right side. Namely, up here. Or you can write it out on the side, it doesn't really matter. We have dt is equal to 10 over 140 minus 7a dA. Now I can integrate both sides. If I integrate the left side, I end up with simply t plus c. I'm placing the constant here because this expression is with respect to t. Is equal to, I'll take the 10 outside of the integral, 10 times 1 over 140 minus 7a dA. The integral of this, we'll need to use ln absolute of u. So first, I'll set this equal to u. u is equal to 140 minus 7a. That gives us negative 7 dA du. Solving for dA, I end up with du over negative 7 is equal to dA. So we have 1 over u, which becomes ln absolute of u, which is 140 minus 7a. And at the same time, this negative 7 goes out here. So we have 10 over negative 7 times this expression is equal to t plus c. Next, what we have to do is find out what our constant is. And to find out our constant, 
you have to keep in mind one very important thing that was not stated here. At time is equal to zero, we have 40 grams of salt in this tank. How do I know that? At time is equal to zero, I'm saying that we have 40 grams of salt. The reason why is because if I take 10 liters, this volume, and multiply it by 4 grams per liter, the liters cancel out and we're left with 40. So I can use this important piece of the puzzle, substitute 40 into here and 0 into here, and I can find out what C is equal to. C is equal to 10 over negative 7 ln of 140 minus 7 times 40. So we have, I'm going to find out what that is, 140 minus 7 times 40. That gives me negative 140. Take the absolute of that. I have ln of 140 times 10 divided by negative 7. That gives me a C value of negative 7.06. I'll substitute this value into C, where I have T minus 7.06 is equal to 10 over negative 7 ln of 140 minus 7a. Now they're also asking for what happens after 5 minutes. So if I substitute t is equal to 5 in here and I solve for a, I'll get my answer. So let's go ahead and do that. We have 5 minus 7.06. That gives me negative 103 over 50. Negative 103 over 50. And I need to get rid of this part, so I'll divide both sides by 10 over negative 7. So dividing this by 10 over negative 7 gives me the following, 1.442. So the left side has become 1.442 is equal to ln absolute of 140 minus 7a. I'm solving for a, so I'm going to raise both sides to the base e. That gets rid of that. Then I'll bring the 140 over to the other side, minus 140 over negative 7 is equal to my a value. Let's find out what that is. e to the power of 1.442 minus 140 divided by negative 7. That gives me 19.39 grams of salt after 5 minutes. After five minutes. And there you have it. That is how to set up and solve differential equation problems.